Hi everyone, Nelson here, and as promised, this is the new level 60 skill review, as well as an in-depth look at the stack system. In the first part, I just want to show you the basics of the stack system. Uh, by the way, you can see the stacks under the enemy hit point bar. I'm currently up to 4 now. Uh, keep in mind, I'm trying to keep this enemy alive until 10 stacks, so this is not the best way to build stacks. On non-BAM enemies, you will probably never get higher than 5 stacks anyway. Okay, so we are getting towards 10 stacks. Uh, we'll see wind split at 10 points. Note that only the last hit of wind split gains any damage from the stacks. So I'm gonna hit that one, 24,000 damage. Not bad. It's about equivalent to blade draw. Uh, the stacks don't last forever. They actually decay after 5 seconds if you don't perform any moves that build stack. When in that period, you're gonna lose your entire stack. I'm up to 3 now. I'm gonna let them decay. You're gonna see the bar flashing and they're gone. And because it decays that fast, it's going to be very hard to keep any amount of stacks on a player that's moving all around the place, so this will really limit the uses of the system in PvP. I think it was mostly designed with PvE in mind and, you know, group settings. Um, the skills that you can use to build up the stacks are a Combative Strike, Poison Blade, Charging Slash, Backstab, and Blade Draw. Reign of Blows, Rising Fury also build stacks, but only if you land their last hits. So in short, almost all our skills build points, which is good because you need at least 5 points to get any effects out of Wind Split or Battle Cry. Any lower than that, and you get absolutely no benefits. It's good to note that if you are under 5 points, using any of those skills will not consume your points. Same if you miss the skill, it's not going to consume your points. A uh, quick note on Wind Split, only the last hit counts towards hitting or missing, so if you miss that hit, you keep your stacks. I'm going to show Wind Split without any points, so you know that, you know, what kind of damage it does. As you can see, it's about, you know, 1700 2k, three times. I've also said that using a skill under five combo points does not consume them. You're going to show Battle Cry here, and the points are still there. So anyway, enough about the whole Wind Split thing. Uh, what about Battle Cry? It's the other finisher we get. Uh, this one actually works fine. The stacks add 1 or 2 seconds of stun duration at 5 and 10 point respectively. Uh, it also generates a lot more threat, and that's probably the main reason why I think that uh, for tanking the stack system works. Uh, in the second part of the video, I'm going to show how it uh, does while tanking in a group setting using the worst possible threat setup. I'm not going to have any threat glyph, no crystals, uh, no modifiers on my weapon. Previously, using a setup like that would have made my life miserable. I would have to taunt every other move, and I would still lose aggro when anyone got a decent crit. But anyway, more on that later. Before I finish this section, I'm going to show you one last win split under 10 points. Here you go, building the last couple combo points. Yes, I've used Poison Blade, I know, I hate that skill, but it builds points now. Still doesn't make it good. Here you go, 21,000 damage, which is, you know, okay. So anyway, um, in this section I wanted to cover one more aspect of the stacking system, sharing. I'm um, grouped with another warrior, and the stack system is sh shared between us two. We both contribute to the points, we also both use them. Uh, the system benefits, but mostly drawbacks. With uh, proper communication, like in this case, where I'm grouped with Gilmaze, I can use this to actually help maintain aggro, and uh, you know, I just use what I need. I just use a 10 point here with Battle Shout, giving me a good amount of threat. And I'm gonna leave him everything else. Uh, this, you know, will work fine, because I'm in a group setting. Uh, when you do with this in a pug, you're probably not going to have that sort of communication, so you will have to, you know, use what you can get, and if the other guy uses your stack, well, whatever, it's going to create conflict. But overall, you know, it's actually working quite well. So as I mentioned, I have absolutely no threat help for this setup. This is the absolute worst setup I could have for tanking, and I'm still maintaining aggro. I think part of that is also because we get a new uh, rank of Rain of Blows. Uh, not Rain of Blows, Torrent of Blows, which is our uh, taunt at level 6 that help something. So this is the basics of the tank system. Um, you know, I'm basically just building up to 10, using it to taunt, and uh, leaving every other point to uh, the other warrior so he can use Wind Split. Works pretty good. And uh, this is about it for this update. I hope you enjoyed it.